Welcome to Electron Line. Now we have an example of the inverse Laplace transform, which is a little bit more challenging. Notice in the denominator we have an S cube, which changes things just a little bit. Well, first of all, we're going to rewrite that function in the frequency domain as follows. This can be written as a divided by s minus 3 plus bs squared plus cs plus d divided by s cubed. Again, that's how we use the technique of partial fractions. So now we need to find the values of a, b, c, and d. We can do that by multiplying both sides of the equation by the common denominator s cubed times s minus 3, which means this would then simplify to 54 is equal to a s cubed plus b s squared plus c s plus d multiplied times that would then be s minus 3. So multiplying this out because that makes it easier to see what the numbers are equal to we get 54 is equal to a s cubed plus b s cubed plus c s squared plus d s minus 3 b s squared minus 3 c s minus 3 d now we're ready to start matching everything up on the left side we do not have an s cubed term which means we get 0 is equal to a plus b we don't have an s squared term so we have 0 is equal to c minus 3b we don't have an s to the first term on the left side so we get 0 is equal to we have an s to the first and s to the first that's d minus 3c and finally we do have a constant term 54 is equal to minus 3d which means that d is equal to the negative of 54 divided by 3 uh, let's see here that's 18 I believe yes so it would be minus 18 so we have the value for D now we can find the value for C using this equation C is equal to minus 18 minus 3C which means that 18 equals minus 3C Oop, 3C which means that C is equal to minus 6 all right, now we have both D and C. Now let's find B. 0 is equal to minus 6 minus 3B. Moving 6 across, that means that 6 is equal to minus 3B, which means that B is equal to minus 2. And finally, since A plus B equals 0, if B is minus 2, then A must be plus 2 which means we can now find the inverse Laplace transform of well a is uh, 2 that gives us 2 divided by s minus 3 plus b s squared so b is minus 2 that's minus 2 s squared plus c s c is a minus 6 so that's minus 6 s and d is a minus 18 all divided by s cubed. Well, before we can take the inverse Laplace transform, I probably want to write this as three separate fractions. So the inverse Laplace transform of the following 2 over s minus 3 minus 2, now s squared divided by s cubed, that becomes minus 2 over s minus 6 s divided by s cubed, which is s squared and minus 18 over s cubed. I think we're ready to take the inverse Laplace transform, but we got to be careful. On the first one, we have an s minus 3, which means we get this is equal to e to the 3t power times 2, because we have a 2 here, so that's 2 times e to the 3t power times u of t. Again, we don't necessarily have to write that. That's simply the step function, the unit step function. When t is greater than 0, u is equal to 1. Here we get minus 2 u to the t, uh, u of t, I should say. Again, that's the unit step function. Here we get 
minus 6 times t and this becomes minus now we have to be careful here because let me go over here if we take the Laplace transform of let's say a Laplace transform of t squared this is equal to 2 over s cube so I need a 2 over s cube so I can take the inverse Laplace transform in order to get the t squared term so this can be written as 2 times 9 or 9 times 2 I need the 2 over s cube when I take the inverse Laplace transform to get t squared I have a 9 left over so this becomes minus 9 times t squared if I want to simplify this just a little bit more and get rid of these and simply write them as 1's I can write this as 2e to the 3t minus 2 minus 6t and minus 9t squared and here is the inverse Laplace transform of my original problem and that's how it's done